This is the Remus High Performance Exhaust System for the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. Now, maybe you don't know about Remus because honestly, I'd never heard of them before I heard of this product. And these guys make sport exhausts for cars and motorcycles. And now they've got one for the Honda Goldwing. This is pretty cool. Let me take one of these out so you can see how nice it is. I mean, this is serious. This is, this is hardcore, man. This is like stainless steel. This thing is beautiful. It's incredible. And you'll notice that it's got a wire attached to it. What do you think that could be? So if you're one of those people that loves your 2018 plus Honda Goldwing, but you wish it had a little more growl, a little more attitude when you accelerate, I think this is something you're going to want to check out. Let's get to the garage. Here are the tools required to install the Remus Performance Sport Exhaust. This video was sponsored by Remus. Remus Performance Sport Exhaust is one of the leading OEM and aftermarket manufacturers worldwide. They produce for VW, AMG, Ducati, KTM, and many other brands. Now, while they're primarily known for European brands, they're now entering new markets, such as the Honda Goldwing. A unique feature of the Remus Performance Sport Exhaust is this electronically controlled valve inside the exhaust system. Here you can see the valve is fully closed. For the least amount of sound, the system is technically off. When we press the button, and the light turns green, we now have 10% open for more sound, and then yellow gives you 40% open, and the most aggressive sound comes at red when it's 100% open. Begin by placing your Goldwing on the center stand and removing the seat. First, we need to remove the black plastic saddlebag guard covers on both mufflers. Now these are held in place with a single plastic push pin on the underside and you use a screwdriver to get under that and just kind of pry it down and you want to remove the entire clip. This is what the clip looks like when it's been completely removed and the underside of the cover should look like this. You should now be able to remove the cover and you'll be able to see the tip over bar sticking through the muffler cover. Use a 5mm Allen wrench or socket to remove the 5mm socket bolt shown here. This is what that bolt looks like when it's been removed. There's also a rubber grommet surrounding that bolt hole. Make sure it stays in place. You remove the chrome muffler cover by sliding it forward toward the front of the bike to release it from the four tabs that are holding it into place. For in-depth instructions on removing these chrome covers and all the parts in this video, check out my 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance video series. Next, we need to release the 12 millimeter bolt that holds the muffler clamp into place. This is at the front of the muffler. Here we're looking up at that bolt from underneath the motorcycle and I'm just using a 12 millimeter socket to remove that bolt. And now is a good time to remind you that the removal process is the same for both mufflers on both sides. 
Locate the 12 mm hanger bolt between the bottom of the saddlebag and the top of the muffler toward the rear of the bike. Use a 12 mm socket to remove this bolt. It's a good idea to support the muffler with your free hand because once you remove the hanger bolt, there's really nothing left holding the muffler on other than the flange into the exhaust pipe. Now you can begin wiggling the muffler kind of side to side, twisting it a little bit to get it to release uh, from the front of the pipe. With the mufflers removed, we now need to remove the chrome trim pieces so that we can transfer those to the Remus mufflers. First, we need to remove the chrome inner cover from the rear of the muffler by removing this 5 mm socket bolt. There's only one bolt and two small tabs that hold this cover in place. With the bolt removed, you can now slide this panel toward the front of the muffler. And you just have to kind of jiggle it a little bit. It could be a little tight and just pull on it and it will come loose. Here I'm just pulling on it from the front of the cover and you can see those two tabs uh, once it's been removed. Now the main chrome cover is held in place with two of these 5 millimeter socket bolts and there's a couple of those rubber tabs that also hold it. One of them you can't see, it's kind of behind the muffler, but it is there. And if you look around on the other side of this muffler, you'll see that other 5 millimeter socket bolt I was referring to. Let's remove both of those 5 millimeter socket bolts so we can then remove the main chrome cover from the muffler. With both bolts removed, we can now remove the muffler cover and we have to slide it toward the front, what would be the front of the motorcycle, the front of the muffler. You're just going to kind of pull on that cover. You'll pull it toward the rear of the muffler while you push on that tab toward the front of the muffler and to release those two little rubber tabs that hold it into the cover. Now you can kind of rotate the muffler and pry the cover off carefully. You just don't want to bend anything and the muffler will come free from the cover. And once the cover is off the muffler, you can see that tab and that little slot on the back side where it's kind of hidden that slips into place on that muffler cover. Here you can compare the Honda OEM muffler to the Remus muffler. You can see the difference in quality. It's pretty obvious and that's why it's so much heavier. Look at that stainless steel. It's really beautiful. And look at the size of that exhaust port on the rear compared to the two little holes on the Honda muffler. Pretty amazing. You'll need to remove these two little rubber tabs off of the Honda muffler so that we can transfer those to the posts on the Remus muffler. I also like to use a little silicone grease on these rubber tabs. It just helps that chrome cover slide on much easier. And once you've got the chrome cover in place, go ahead and replace those 5 millimeter socket bolts all the way around. Now we don't reinstall the little chrome inner cover, the muffler inner cover, because the actuators stick up just high enough to where it won't allow that cover to fit back in place. So you can leave those off. But we are going to use that 5 millimeter bolt that held on that inner cover. It's down there on the bottom of the muffler. You can see it there because that provides an extra mounting point to the Remus muffler for the chrome cover. Now we're ready to reinstall our new Remus mufflers with the chrome covers installed and I like to put a shop towel down. I don't want to scratch those chrome covers. Place one of the clamps that came in your kit over the end of the muffler and then slip it into place. Use a 12 millimeter socket to reinstall the 12 millimeter hanger bolt. The bolt on the clamp should be facing down as shown in this picture. I'm looking up at it and you want to use a 10 millimeter socket to completely tighten this clamp. And of course, once you've completed this on the right side, you want to repeat everything on the left side of the bike. Let's take a look at the accessories that come with the Remus Performance Sport Exhaust. First, you'll notice the main controller unit. 
This is an electronic device that will fit underneath the seat of your Honda Goldwing. And it includes several different connectors. The actuator control switch will mount on your handlebars and allows you to control the amount of sound you want coming from your Remus Performance Sport Exhaust. A set of ring clamps are also included for mounting the mufflers to your Goldwing. They even include a set of white gloves to protect the finish of your Goldwing covers. There's the necessary mounting hardware for the switch to your handlebars and even a tube of anti-seize lubricant. And of course, a bunch of cable ties. So here you can see I've used a, a little wire fish. I use these uh, 36 inch long cable ties. And I fished it down right here just to the inside of my, or I should say on the outside, it's kind of running right along here. And it comes out down here. And that's how I'm going to fish my wires up to my handlebars. They'll actually run up through here. Eventually, I'll move them up through here and up here to the handlebar. Here I'm using another one of those cable tie wire fishes to fish my actuator wire on the right hand muffler and it's going to go up to the front of the motorcycle and come out next to the gas tank kind of underneath that right side cover. Ultimately this wire and connector will end up underneath the seat. Now you'll also want to fish the wire from the left muffler actuator up to the left side of the motorcycle underneath the seat. Locate the red plug underneath the seat. It's on the right hand side of the motorcycle. You can see it there. And if you reach back in there, you can pull that off of that little stay that it's on by lifting up on a tab and slipping it off to get it out where you can reach it more easily. Now, if you turn it over and look on the back, you'll find another small tab and you can use a screwdriver or your fingernail to kind of lift up on that tab. And when you do, you can slip off this uh, protective cap. Now we want to connect the Remus control unit using this plug and it's the one that has the single wire. That one goes on the right side. Just plug it into that red plug. That's where it goes. And you can now slip it back over that plastic stay. So this is on the left side of the bike. We want to get this connector out. And the easiest way to do it is to just release this little clip that holds it in place. I'm just going to use a pair of hemostats to kind of mash down on the ends. And when you do that, you can just kind of push it out and it pops right out like that. There's a cap just like the other side. And up here on top is a little tab right here. And we're just going to use our little screwdriver. And we're going to pop that, just lift that tab up. And when you do, that cap will come off just like that. And that hooks to our connector from the Remus that has three wires going into it. And we will hook this up like so, thusly. You'll have to remove this body clip from this plug. And you do that by pressing down. There's a little tab right here. You press down that little plastic tab, and when you do, this little clip comes right out. And then you can insert that clip into here, thusly, and then simply clip this back in place right here like that. Here I'm mounting the Remus switch. I'm using a ram ball mount here. If you have the factory uh, sw uh, switch controls, they do give you a longer bolt that you can use to mount this switch, but I'm just going to use the bolt that came with the ram mount. And I'm going to have to turn the switch sideways so that it'll fit properly, but no problem. And once I get this switch mounted, then I can fish the wires down to underneath the seat. Now I'm just going to tape the end of the wire or cable that's coming from that switch to the end of my wire fish that I ran earlier. And this runs along the side of my uh, center pocket down to underneath the seat. And once I get it taped up, I'm just going to pull it on through. Connect the two ends, the cable from the switch and the cable coming from the Remus controller. 
you'll notice two small arrows in the plastic to help you line up the connectors. So right now we've got all our wires up here. This is the connector from the right muffler. Here is the connector somewhere. Oh, it just got stuck in here. There's the connector from the left muffler. And obviously this will plug into here. And we have another one on the other side. This one will connect into here. Now it looks like a rat's nest right now, but I can clean all this up later and tuck everything up out of the way. Right now I just want to test everything, make sure it works. Next, I connect the two white connectors coming from each muffler to the appropriate connectors on the Remus control unit. So now let's test the system. We turn the ignition on. You can see mine lights up green initially. And here you can see the exhaust valve is just slightly open. When I select yellow, it opens a little more, and then when I select red, it's fully open. Let's listen to some examples of the Remus Performance Sport Exhaust. So what do I think of the Remus Performance Sport Exhaust? Well, first of all, I want to say it has the highest build quality of anything I've ever installed on a Goldwing. It is a beautiful system, and what I love about it is it blends right into your stock Goldwing chrome cover. So nobody would even know you have this unless they just look at that rear exhaust port. When you ride by, they're going to know you're not on any normal Honda Goldwing. So if I only had one word to describe this Remus Performance Sport Exhaust, it would be exotic better performance and better sound from your stock 2018 plus Honda Goldwing. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.